so um, in this video, we're going to install Laravel Deadstream, which is a quick auth package uh, by uh, by Laravel for Laravel um, by Laravel Core Team for Laravel Eight. Um, and this is this is a much debated package. Basically, a lot of debate has been going on uh, in the community about this. And I'm not obviously going to get into that debate because it's fairly long and it has been very well addressed by Taylor. And uh, uh, we are only going to use this for generating some forms, some quick forms, login and uh, uh, register forms so that we can test the login and um, register functionality uh, using Dusk. So I'm quickly going to do Composer require Laravel Jetstream. And as you can see, things are a lot faster with Composer 2. I've just upgraded to Composer 2 and uh, it's installing now. If you haven't, any Composer command that you gave now is going to give you a small message that you need to upgrade uh, to the latest version of Composer which is Composer 2. Okay, so we're going to install it with, with Laravel Livewire. Again, we're not going to get into any debate, so we're just going to install it we're, because we're going to use it for tests only. Right here goes, it's going to install Laravel Livewire and it's also going to install, uh, uh, you know, everything that we need. And then from this point in time, we're going to do npm install and npm run dev to compile everything. All right, so we are going to add liveware components. Once this has finished compiling, all right. And we're also going to add some Jetstream views so that we get those pages. All right. So I believe we are good. Let's have a look as to what we have here. Resources, views, and yeah, we see API auth. And we see our register page. All right, and if we go to web, I believe, <clears throat> yeah, okay. So, so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, write because it's, all right. We also actually need to migrate everything. Yeah, better do a uh, fresh because this is out of work. All right, and now I believe we are good. Yeah, because this we have to do because we're using uh, database migrations in our tests and for every test that is run, uh, you know, the database is emptied of, of all the migrations once. So we're going to go to slash dashboard to see what's in store for us. Right, and uh, Jetstream is working because it's it's redirecting us to slash login. And if we go to slash register, we're going to see a register form, and that is what is in the register.blade.php. So uh, it's it's a simple blade. Uh, uh, you know, uh, form. There's there's nothing much to it, and uh, we can easily use uh, everything. So first of all, we see that there is there is a name. Uh, there's a name field. Then then there is an email field. Then there is a password and confirm password field. So we are going to write a first test to test the register functionality. To uh, create a test file is php artisan dusk make and then you give the name of the file. So you can say register users. 
Some people like to say register users test or something, but I, I just prefer it's it uh, simply as register users. All right, so, um, so we see that it has been created. Okay, uh, so browser and you see the register users is there. So what we're going to do is we're going to write our first test and for this we are going to use, we're going to need some data, right? So to test the form we of course need uh, some faker data and we're going to use faker. So we're going to say use faker factory as faker and over here now this is this is important so what we do is we can say faker is equal to sorry faker create and we're going to use this here like this so <coughs> excuse me so basically, since we are we are we are testing uh, this form, and we're going to we're going to need some uh, some some data. We need a name, we need an email, we need uh, a password, and the same password in confirmation. So it's extremely important that we use Faker to generate that data. Now the question is, why not use uh, hard coded data? Well, you can, but then with the passage of time, you know things uh, can change and. Uh, and and it it is not ideal to you know you know use uh, some fixed data uh, in in tests because uh, I mean if later on things change you'll not be able to uh, verify that that same behavior is is accurate. Now uh, with Faker every time you get new data and you'll you'll know every time the test pass that that this is passing with uh, with you know any kind of data. So once we're using Faker, what we're going to do is first of all we're going we're going to say okay visit slash register. So we're going to use uh, task to to visit register, and then what we're going to do is we are going to probably say assert c name. Now this is to make sure that the form has loaded. So for instance, if the form hasn't loaded, the test is going to fail, and and this is going to throw an error. Uh, saying okay yeah fine we don't I don't see name that means the form is not there at all so um, the next thing that we're going to do is and 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 you know Laravel Desk has an amazing API so anything that you do manually you can you can simply replicate it by saying uh, the same uh, the same thing in the API and that is that is as as Jeffrey Way puts it that's that's hallmark of an amazing API. You know, you you can I mean almost guess it as to what is it that you're supposed to do. So so what we're going to do is we are going to open the register dot blade dot php, and we're going to see that the first one here says there's there's an ID name. Now uh, you can you can use you can use name name as well. So so there are there are quite a few ways of doing it. So we are going to first do it with the simplest method. And sorry, we're going to say faker first name. Sorry. Next, we're going to use the same for email and we're going to say faker email or you can also say faker safe email. All right. Now email is taken care of, then there is password. Now the password needs to be same in both instances. So we cannot do faker password and faker password. So, so what we can probably do is we can say password is equal to uh, faker password. And because now this is a variable in which one password is going to be stored, we can use we can use this variable as well. And we can say here type password because that is the name of the field. That is the name of the field, password. And we're going to say password. 
Am I spelling it correctly? No. All right, there goes. Okay, so, and there is one more field remaining and that is password confirmation. And the name of the field is password confirmation. So I'm going to copy it just to make sure. Password confirmation, and then I'm going to say password again. All right, so what this is going to do is this is going to use the same password for both fields, uh, practically serving our purpose. So it's going to use a first name, it's going to use an email, and it's, all, it's going to use the same password for both these fields so that the confirmations match each other. There's one step remaining and that is clicking the register button. As you can see, it is in all caps. In Dusk, you have to, you have to actually replicate the same. You have to use the same, uh, you know, stuff that is, that is showing because I mean, over here it says register in smalls, but, and it's a button. So whenever it is a button, yes, you guessed it right. You're going to say press register all right and if you press register let's see what's going to happen <clears throat> so so let's first do this now now this is going to return a small error but we're going to go incrementally to understand the whole step uh, whole steps and system so let's just run this test for now yeah All right, it's going to go to register and fill in everything and click. All right, now, what it says is, okay, one test, one is, okay, right. It Sometimes it gives um, uh, an error saying, uh, okay, it's, it passes, but it says it's a risky test. It didn't do it this time. But what we're going to do is we're, we're going to, now this is where the screenshots help us, right? So if you haven't, if you haven't seen the page, all right, um, let's just simply say sc.png and run this again. So now since this was really quick, it's going to give us, we're going to see if a screenshot helps us here. All right, hope it does. Going to the screenshots. All right. Yeah, as you can see, it says Laravel Jetstream, and I hope it, this is not an image, but this at least is a text and which, which makes a welcome to your Jetstream application. So what we can do is we can, we can say in order for the test to pass, we can say we can replace this with assert C. Okay, now assertions, we have, we've already covered assert C, so I'm not going to, uh, you know, go into much detail, but assertions basically help you in seeing what it is, uh, in, in, you know, in confirming something. Uh, for example, assert C helps you in confirming, uh, confirming seeing something, all right? Just like we did with Laravel. And just like what we're doing right now, it's going to say, welcome to your Jetstream application. Now, again, you have to batch cases. Uh, you can't do all small or all caps or anything like that. You have to you have to batch exactly uh, what it is on the screen. So it is welcome to your Jetstream application. All right. Sometimes VS Code is amazing. All right, so there you go. All right, running the test. It's going to go fill. You see, every time, every single time, is is filling in new data, and as you can see now, it is giving us green for both assertions. It's giving us that it is seeing name. That means the form is loading, and. Uh, it has gone to uh, the dashboard page and that says um, uh, that says welcome to Jetstream applications. So uh, the test is passing and we know that this is correct. We are if you go back and you see now this is now there is one more thing I think I want to I want to do something else as well while we're here. 
we can say assert path is yeah so at assert path is slash dashboard now this is this is another assertion that is going to make sure that we are once this is registered this is going to redirect to slash dashboard let's run it again all right there it goes okay so it is uh, it can see welcome to jetstream applications and it confirms that it is on it is on dashboard that means that means our register form is working correctly so if you see my point i mean in just a second you can quickly see that your register form is working or not and i believe i hope you can see the obvious benefits of automated testing let's move on to our next video